Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to convert your free hub body on your DT Swiss 3 pull free hub. So if you want to convert it from Shimano to SRAM XD or vice versa, then I'll go ahead, I'll run through the steps. Right, so here we have the wheel, DT Swiss. Now this uses a 3 pull free hub on these, not the ratchet type. So this is a three pull version we're uh, demonstrating here. So usually found on the lower end DT Swiss wheels. So this applies to that. So any wheel that uses that, this will apply to. So first thing you want to do with your Shimano cassette is slacken the lock ring. So you get your chain whip or your tool, just hold the cassette. And then just get your cassette tool lock ring tool, put that in there and then we can just undo using a bar or a ratchet, just undo the lock ring so once you've just cracked it undone so as it, so as with the tool it's finger tight so you can undo it by hand and just lock it back up by hand that's all you've got to do now if your wheel's been regularly serviced and you know the free hub comes off the best way, the easiest way to do it is like I showed you slacking that off to start with then you should be able to put your fingers behind the cassette and prise it forwards to remove it. So you should just be able to put that, you might take a bit of force to get it off, but if you prise up hard enough, then it should pop off like that. So as you see, it's popped. So we could just remove it off of there by pulling it all the way off. So but obviously we've still got the cassette on there at the minute, so what we want to do is just put that back in place for a moment and then because we just slackened that before we did that now what I can do is just hold that in there and just undo the lock ring as you would remove that and then we can uh, take the cassette off the actual free hub body so now we're just left with the bare free hub body that's what we call Shimano stroke SRAM for your body. So SRAM uh, road cassettes use this type of freer body on 11 speed, etc. And a very low end mountain bike cassettes. But anything else, like a 12 speed SRAM if you're upgrading to that. So a 12 speed cassettes or 11 speed like the mountain bike cassettes the higher end, use the XD freer body or XDR as they call it if you're a 12 speed road the same thing so, so now we know we popped the body off earlier by prising it forward so you popped it off so now you know it's loose remove the cassette then you can just take the end cap off now it's the end cap that's normally if you've had yours apart before the end cap's just got a bit of rubber down inside it what sticks on the end of the shaft slightly so that's what makes it a little bit harder to remove but like I say if yours has been regularly serviced it should just come off easy um, then you can just grab hold of the freer body and just literally slide it off so there's the Shimano one now with the XD driver for your body before you put it on say if you just bought one it's new what you want to do is clean off the shaft of any old grease and dirt that was on here before you put the new one on and make sure that you just grease the three pulls on the back here just put a little bit of grease on them don't need a lot just grease that and make sure you run some grease on the inside of here and on the other end where the bearing is there and down inside just put a little bit of grease in there so as you know it's going to come off at a later date and also make sure you grease the axle as well just put plenty of grease over that because you don't want to get it stuck on there because then it's a pain to remove so what you can do is now you slide that on but make sure you've got the appropriate end cap for an XD freer body you see there it fits in there like that 
the normal ones that come with the Shimano ones, Shimano freer bodies, they're too big. The end cap is different size altogether. You can see, like that, they're different. So you need the, the XD one. That could be either through axle, like that, it's a 12mm through axle one, or could be quick release, like that one. It fits on there, like so. Like I said, this was uh, through axle. Doesn't matter, the shaft's still the same, even if it's through axle or it's quick release. It's just the end cap that's different. So what you can do is just get your free body. If it doesn't go on easily, if you can't push it on easily, then just look down inside because there's a spacer, there's a collar in there that could just be out of line of the two bearings. that's stopping it going on. So you can just line that back up, just put your finger in there and push it round, just line it back up. So as you can get that on there, straight away like that. Once you slid it on, it stops. Then you can just rotate it anti-clockwise and push at the same time. And it should locate in there like that. Do you see? So then once you've done that, with your end cap, just put a bit of grease around your end cap and just down inside it as well before you push it on. Just so you know it's going to come off again at a later date. So you can push that on and just pop it on like that. And that's the actual free up body installed. Now, before you go ahead and install your cassette, see the uh, thread on there, make sure that you grease that properly so you get plenty of grease on that thread there and over the actual body as well put plenty of grease on there because you don't want to get it stuck on and also check down inside the cassette when you're looking at the cassette make sure you grease that thread in there as well put plenty of grease over that thread in there and then you can just literally put the cassette on like that make sure it's lined up with the splines it's just gone and it's got started and then there's no lock ring because it's a SRAM cassette, there's no lock ring on there. So it's just literally your same tool again. Your lock ring tool like you use for the Shimano, same one. But you just put that in there and then you can just do that up. And it pulls it on as you're doing it up. So there's quite a lot of thread on them to do up. So you can just ratchet it on until it stops. that so you just tighten it up until it stops moving and then if you've got a big enough torque wrench you can go ahead and torque this up to 40 newton meters to torque and that's the SRAM XD freer body with the SRAM cassette installed on the wheel DT Swiss wheel on three pull freer body so if you found the video helpful remember to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content. Till next video, ride safe and see you then.